Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you some Google tricks. The first one is called Define. It's like a dictionary. If you type Define in the search field and then colon and then a word like computer and then hit enter, you'll get a whole bunch of definitions for the word computer. So if you don't have a dictionary handy, you can look it up on the web and get all the official descriptions here and meanings for a word, in this case computer. The other um, neat little trick is using the Google Calculator. So in the search field, you can put in a formula, for example. So if you don't have a calculator handy, and you uh, know a formula, so 2 to the power of 10 plus 7 times 98 plus 500 percent. So you can type in whatever you want in here, a valid formula, and then after that, click the uh, Google search, and then you'll get the results. So just like a calculator, there you go. It knows exactly what you typed in, and there's the answer. So a neat little calculator trick there, if you need it. Also, you can use the calculator to do conversions. So let's just say that uh, you're going on a trip to uh, London, England, and you've got a whole bunch of U.S. dollars to convert into pounds. So if you type USD for U.S. dollars, space in pounds, and do a search in Google, it automatically tells you, okay, one U.S. dollar equals this much British pounds, okay? Similarly, if you're going to a trip to Mexico, they use pesos down there, so you just type pesos, do a search, and there you go. One U.S. dollar gives you 10.3 pesos. Um, you can do other conversions as well, not just monetary uh, conversions. So kilograms to pounds, maybe you're doing uh, uh, um, some calculations for that. So how much is one kilogram in pounds? Well, it's 2.2 pounds. So how much uh, would be five kilograms in pounds? Well, just type five kg to labs to pounds there, and then there you go. That's how much it is. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's easy to use. And, and uh, you can type in like seconds in a week. How much? How many seconds in a week? Or uh, how many seconds in, in a year? So that's how many seconds in, in a week. Let's type in year instead. And there you go. That's how many seconds in a year. So you can use this for all your calculations if you have anything uh, to do like that, for example. Um, now, if you want to find out what's the time in other areas of the world quickly, you can just type in time, space, and then the city name, for example, right? So in the search field, again, type in um, what time is it in New York, for example, and then hit the Google search, and then there's your time for New York, right? That's the uh, long way of typing it in. What's What time is it in New York, or what time is it in London? Um, that's that's uh, the way to specifically tell it what you're looking for, but there's also also the other ways you can type in short abbreviations like time, space, London, time, space, New York. Uh, similarly, if you're looking for a movie, you want to find uh, the movie show times. Hancock just came out recently. You got your postal code, so type in Hancock, space, postal code there, and then you get the show times for that postal code. So that postal code uh, 10023 is for New York. And then there's the uh, theaters in that postal code area. So there's a showtime feature in Google, and there's an airline flight status. So if you know an airline, so for example, I, I know that there's an American Airlines Flight 47 going on, and I just type in American Space Flight 47, and then it instantly does a lookup to find out what's going on with that flight. So I'll hit the search here, and it tells me, okay, that's the uh, flight going from Chicago to Dallas. And uh, it's on time, it's on schedule, it says. It left at 7.30, and it'll arrive around 9.44. So there you go. A quick way of getting flight stats without having to go any, to any website, all through Google. Another one is searching by site type. So let's just say you want to know about space travel and you don't want every type of search result you just want educational institutions such as universities so you type in space travel site colon edu and every search result ends with the edu because that's from an educational institution right like a university if you want it to be a government site then you type gov and then of course there's the nasa.gov uh, you can tell here that all the search results are Gov, okay. If you wanted to change that to org, 
like an organization, then just type org, do a search, and of course Wikipedia is the most popular org um, type website for finding information. So there you go, there's a search result, and every other search result is also an org. So um, last but not least, finding music, okay? If you wanted to find a specific type of music online quickly, you can type in this long bunch of parameters here, and then the title of the song or the group or the band or whatever that you want to search for. Okay, so this is the long string here that you need to type in in the search field. And then you hit enter and it will search and bring up a listing, like a directory listing on the server on different websites where that um, title that you put in there at the very end could be in. So write this down exactly like I have here. Pause the screen if you need to. And just remember, the only thing you need to modify is this last piece here. So I put Nirvana because I like Nirvana just for the sake of argument. Let's just see what we can find. And uh, it found the site here, the first result. If I just click on that uh, website, it's just a directory listing, actually, that has a whole bunch of different folders and files um, with MP3s in them, actually. So, uh, of course, if these are commercial MP3s, I don't endorse you to go ahead and download uh, copyrighted music, but it's a neat little thing that uh, many people don't know about. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.